Hello everyone, welcome to day 67 of my Yusuko log. So this time I'm going over the problem that I got wrong on day 6 of uh, silver. And basically this is in relation to using maps. So this problem is cities and states from the Yusuko 2016 December contest. And basically my solution was an O n squared time complexity solution where I checked every single combination uh, which which actually takes too long because there are two to the power of two to the power of ten to the five or not two two times ten to the power of five combinations possible so if you no I mean that's the that's the number of uh I think it's cities. So that's too much to do in n squared uh, because it'll take too long. So basically, you have to find a faster way to do it. Something like O n log n, which is what this solution is. And let me now explain the problem better. So I explained it before on the previous day, but basically, the idea is you're trying to find special pairs of cities where um, the initial two letters of the city name are the same as the second city's uh, state name initials and then the second city's city name must have initials that are the same as the first city's uh, state name. So like, for example, Flint, Michigan and Miami, Florida are a special pair because Miami starts with M-I, Michigan is M-I, Florida is F-L, and Flint is also F-L. So they make a special pairing. Um, and basically, the job is to just figure out how many of these pairs exist and then you count them and output it. So the solution here is basically we first convert the city into its initials and then we set up a map in which we have a string that's consisted of four letters. So it's the city plus the state uh, initials. So that's four letters in total. And then basically every time we get a new city, we will go to the particular place on the map where its corresponding special pairing should be. And if there has been that special combination before, then we add whatever number of times the combination has appeared to the total count. And you know if it hasn't, or if it has, then we'll just go ahead and add the current city and the state for string code to the map and we add to the count there so that in the future if we see uh, something that might be able to pair up we can add to the total using this map of a string onto an integer so basically the integer keeps track of the count of how many times this string has appeared so uh, first we read in n and then we set up our total which will be which, which will be outputted at the end um, then here's the map it's called count and then we can go from 0 to n just reading in the cities and states and then we tokenize the city into its initials and if the city is not the same as the state so basically like if these are not like repeat repeating um, repeating letters like M I M I something like that if they're not the same then we can go to the total and we'll add to it the count of however many times the reverse combination has appeared which is the state plus the city so like the opposite ordering uh, the original ordering is city plus state. 
So however many times this state plus city or the reverse ordering has appeared, we will add to the total by the count. And then after this, we will increment the count of this string, so this, um, this key, the city plus the state, the regular order, by one. Because, you know, we saw it, that means we have to make sure that if there's a future pairing that can pair up with this one, we have to um, be ready for that. And after the whole loop ends, we can output the total. Now, um, basically, this operates in O n log n time because we are using a map, which kind of does all of its operations in O log n time. So when we have n here in the for loop, and then we have like map operations, it is O times log n time. And um, let's see. The basic idea here is um, basically uh, you're not allowed to just add to itself. That wouldn't really make sense. Or is there some other reason? Let me think about it. Um, so basically, it would imply like something like mi mi and then what if it did appear All right, let's just say like Michelle Michigan and what else might make sense uh, Michael is Mississippi MI? That wouldn't really make sense, right? Mm, I'm not sure why this even has to be here. Because if you have the same thing, I'm pretty sure each one is unique. So it doesn't make much sense to me why this would be the case. Hmm. Yeah, this is quite confusing. Well, I'll just figure it out in the description. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.